Hello, my name is Dan Richardson. Welcome to the Dan Richardson Show. Today we will be talking about Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back. So, Star Wars, The Empire Strikes Back, Episode 5, is a 1980 movie starring Mark Hamill, Harrison Ford, and Carrie Fisher. With a special little guest appearance by Billy D. Williams. This film is, of course, the creme de la creme. It's everyone's favorite Star Wars movie, except, of course, my favorite Star Wars movie is Return of the Jedi. But it's everyone's favorite. This is the one that people love, but it was not loved at the time. People didn't like that it was different to the original, and they didn't like the downer ending. Of course, that fact is was pointed out just a few years ago when The Last Jedi, a movie that I frankly find boring, came out. People were all like, well, you know, Empire Strikes Back wasn't liked back then. Of course, only time will tell how the, you know, Star Wars sequels are remembered. Of course, I've already reviewed those about uh, two years ago. So, now we're talking about the Lucas 6. So, what's this movie about? Well, uh, after dealing the major blow that blew up the Death Star, Luke, Han, Leia, Chewbacca, C-3PO, and R2-D2 are basically victorious along with the Rebel Alliance. And while they are still, you know, the underdogs of the Rebellion v. Empire fight, they are starting to rally more systems to join them. And the Empire doesn't like that, so they decide to strike back even harder. They um, blow up the Echo Base on Hoff, and they track down um, good old Han and Leia within the Millennium Falcon uh, all the way to Bespin. And yeah, it's actually really cool. Uh, and of course, there's some really cool thematic stuff for that too that we will get to later. Um, Luke uh, has to go on his own journey. He's told by Obi-Wan Kenobi to go and find um, Yoda, who lives on Dagobah now. And yeah, Yoda basically is all like, look, Luke, you're kind of untrained. You're a little too old to be trained as a Jedi, but I'll help you do some things. And that's the movie. Um... This, there's a reason why this movie is so beloved. It is honestly really good. Um, it's, you know, basically perfect. Um, you know, the stuff that uh, uh, Yoda says about the Force and, you know, how it, it flows through you and it's something that's all around us and combines the galaxy together as one is really powerful and really moving and is something that a lot of people know the force to be. Of course, Clone Wars, and I've talked about Clone Wars for uh, two hours and 40 minutes. If you want to check that out, I do have a Clone Wars review. Um, I highly recommend you listen to it rather than watch it because uh, the, the, the video quality wasn't that great. But um, if you go to my uh, season six uh, review, you will hear me talk about the cosmic force and the, the, the cosmic force and the physical force and how I think that all works together with the world between worlds. And I, I get really technical there, if you care to listen. Um, but yeah, what Yoda describes in this film is the cosmic force. It's the thing that binds the, the galaxy together. While metachlorians, something that people don't like for some reason, is the physical force. You have to have metachlorians and you have to have a certain level of metachlorians in order to tap into the force. And of course the force is basically within everyone. So technically speaking, everyone could use the force if they just had high enough metachlorians. There you go. I just kind of explained it a little bit for you there. Um, Yoda is very wise and... Um, George Lucas and Lawrence Kasdan did a good job making this story work. And of course, um, George Lucas did a good job helping edit and even 
for the most part, direct this film as well. Uh, if you sort of know stuff about the behind the scenes of uh, the original trilogy. Yeah, it's great. Boba Fett, of course, an iconic character. I think he's even on my shirt somewhere. Yeah, he's right there. An iconic character who everyone loves, just got his own TV show, is kind of bland. But, you know, thanks to the EU stuff, we've kind of gotten more um, dealings with him. And there's just really cool stuff in this film. Um, like I was touching on earlier, Bespin is a really cool place. Not only is it the place where we meet Lando Calrissian before he was turned pansexual and, you know, has sexual relations with toasters for some reason. Uh, I think they were really grasping for straws, trying to get attention for Solo. I don't think that's going to stick, him being, like, pansexual or whatever it's called. I don't think that's going to stick. Um, but he <clears throat> was, but, you know, it's really cool because, you know, Bespin is, a, basically looks like heaven. It's a city above the clouds, and just a belief that city, there is the carbon freezing chamber, which looks like hell, and it's really cool. And, of course, we, we go from a snowy ice, you know, a s snow planet to a, to a swamp that's uh, in the EU, like the old EU, was uh, like a, like a, a, it had like a Sith temple in it. And of course, uh, the power of the Sith um, corrodes everything it touches. So that sort of effect destroyed the entire planet and making it, it within making it a swamp and that's why Yoda goes there. Uh that's not I don't think canon anymore, but that was the original explanation kind of second hand or after the fact given about Negaba. And yeah, this film is really cool. Um and yeah, I love it. And it is maybe like my I think it's my, like, third favorite Star Wars movie. Obviously, I love Rogue One. I've talked about that. And I love, um, you know, uh, and obviously I love, you know, uh, Re Return of the Jedi quite a bit. But I do like this movie, too. And, yeah, there's a reason why it's iconic. You know, Luke, uh, I am your father. You know, stuff like that. It's, it's, it's iconic. It's cool. And it, there's also fun. Like, this movie isn't just dark and depressing. There's fun bits to it, too. So, comment below. Let me know. Um, what do you think of this movie? Is it your favorite? Or is it just in your top five, like with me? Uh, remember, Gami especially loves very much. And I'm very excited to see you for the conclusion of this three-day Star Wars Day celebration so remember god made special he loves you very much i hope to see you next time and unfortunately for the last time may the force be with you and god bless